everybody, it's Jordan with Module Head Shop. Today I'm going to be talking about what is needed to put a two valve head on a Texit aluminum block. So the two valve, three valve, and four valve head can pretty much bolt on any four, six, or five, four iron or aluminum block, but there are slight differences as far as the cooling jackets go. Um, two valve and four valve pretty much share the exact same uh, coolant passages in the blocks for the most part. Now on the Texit block, it was never produced with a two valve head. Um, it was only produced for the four valve head. And so they have a little bit different um, areas at the front of the head where the coolant crosses over. So this right here is the hole that we'll be machining today. And for you two valve guys, you know the thermostat sits up here on the head. That's what's feeding that. So this is a very, very simple process. Do not worry about hurting the block. The hole doesn't have to be drilled to the exact diameter. This is just an old Cometic head gasket. All right. I'm just going to trace this. Right. Safety glasses. Centering punch. And then what up, since this block has already been machined, I'm simply going to mask it off. So if I have any spirals, they're not gonna scratch the deck. We're not quite to the block prep yet. This is actually Andrew from Mustang Lifestyles Texid block. We'll be doing a full build on the bullet using this block. So be sure to check out his channel. We've already done one build on his GT500. Super fun. This is not necessary, just a little extra precaution. I'm using a seven sixteen strobe bit. Um, the hole on the gasket is about 650, 670. It doesn't need to be that big. It gives us a little bit of wiggle room on each side. Nice and slow. When you feel it get close to the bottom, don't put a ton of pressure because then it can get caught sideways. All right. Okay. Get some compressed air. We'll blow this off. We'll just blow it off like that. And the last thing I'm going to do, take a countersink. Low speed, high pressure. And that's all that's needed. Now the coolant will flow up through the thermostat just like it's supposed to. You won't have any cooling issues and you won't have any really burping issues. Um, believe me, I've seen plenty of two valves, two valve headed Texids without this hole and they, they ran fine. But this is the correct way to do it. And for those of you wondering, this is the way I do it. So if you have any questions, if you want to see anything else covered in the tech tips, just comment below. Please like and subscribe, and we're going to keep pouring out the tech tip videos. Thanks.